Looking for that city feel with the suburban touch? Well, today I'm in the village of Oak Park, Illinois. I'm gonna be sharing with you all my favorite parks, some history, the best restaurants, and of course, going through the neighborhoods, showing you a little bit about the architecture and the housing, so stay tuned. What is happening everybody? This is Austin Weiss, your go-to home advisor right here in the Chicago Metro. If you're brand new or returning to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, tap that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I do a ton of content all about what it's like to work, eat, live, and play right here in the Chicagoland area. So today's video is gonna be everything you need to know about living and moving to Oak Park, Illinois. Currently, I'm walking through Scoville Park. It's right off the corner of Oak Park Avenue and Lake Street, and you can see the library towering over these trees directly behind me. This library is the main branch. There's three different locations in Oak Park, and this particular location was built in 2003 and is visually stunning. So in a few minutes, I'm gonna be going through the different neighborhoods here in Oak Park, showing you all the awesome architecture, all the cool spots to shop, eat, and of course the cafes and restaurants. But I also sent up my drone so you guys can get a different perspective of the proximity of how close Oak Park is to the city of Chicago and how walkable the village actually is. So without any further delay, let's hop right into it. Just east of downtown Oak Park, you're going to love the vibes of Oak Park Avenue. It features the Oak Park Green Line stop, plenty of restaurant options such as Mile Del Sol, Citrine Cafe, Oak Park Brewing Company, and several cafes and coffee shops. And if you love vinyl like I do, check out Oak Park Records. I'm walking down Oak Park Avenue. This is one of the main north-south streets that run directly through Oak Park. And I'm coming up on the intersection of Lake Street and Oak Park Avenue. This is a great area for restaurants and nightlife and just overall shopping. You're probably about a half a mile east of downtown Oak Park. So I'll show you the intersection, which you can see in the background. And there's just some really great shopping restaurants such as Papa Spiro's Greek Cuisine, Scratch on Lake, which is fantastic for trivia nights, but one of my favorite go-to spots for coffee and pastries in the morning is Courageous Bakery. So let's go on inside, get a nice coffee, because it's super hot out today. Okay, so now that I got my courageous iced coffee for one of my favorite coffee spots in Oak Park, I'm walking up Oak Park Avenue. We're gonna hit up the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum. Three blocks over from that is the Frank Lloyd Wright Museum and Home as well. So I'm gonna cover all that, show you some awesome footage. Right now I'm walking directly outside of a few condo buildings. Um, there's some fantastic condo and attached home options in Oak Park. And this is just one of the many buildings and styles that there are, so I'll definitely make sure to cover that later on in this video. Okay, so I'm walking down Forest Avenue. This is where a lot of the Frank Lloyd Wright homes are built in Oak Park, including his home, and it's since turned into a museum, so I'll show you that here in just a little bit. But you can see that some of the historical homes directly behind me. Most of the housing stock in Oak Park was built between 1892 and 1950. So when you drive around Oak Park, a lot of the buildings are older, have since be refurb been refurbished, and are absolutely stunning with the different architectural designs and just artwork and overall attention to detail. So you'll see a lot of prairie style housing, uh, Queen Anne and Craftsman bungalow style housing in Oak Park. But as I'm walking down Forest Avenue, I'm coming up to Frank Lloyd Wright's house which you can see. One thing that I definitely wanted to make certain you understood watching this video is just the awesome architecture of these homes. And not only that, but the landscape design, the enormous trees that are well over 100 years old and probably over 100 feet tall as well as I'm coming up to this enormous tree in front of the Frank W. Thomas house, which is also a Frank Lloyd Wright house. I mean, look at the size of this tree and it sits directly in front of the Frank W. Thomas house, 
which you can see right over here. This is stunning architecture. And this house was built in 1902. It's part of the National Historic Landmark and it sits directly across the street from Austin Gardens, which of course is named after yours truly. These beautiful homes are located in the Frank Lloyd Wright Historic District in the northern half of the village. As you walk throughout Oak Park, you'll notice there are no residential for sale or sold signs because the open housing ordinance passed in 1968 to promote integration and diversity throughout the community. I'm walking through Austin Gardens. It's one of my favorite parks in Oak Park, probably because it's named after myself and it's absolutely stunning. But directly to my right, there's a walking path through the gardens. They've set up different benches that has some fantastic shade to get out of the sun because it is definitely hot out today. Uh, Austin Garden sits just off of Lake Street so you can see some of the taller buildings directly behind me. That one happens to be Albion of Oak Park. It's one of the newer apartment style living options here in Oak Park so if you want something newer that's definitely a great option for yourself. But I'm going to send up the drone up here in just a little bit so you can kind of see what the park looks like from the sky and what the surrounding proximity looks like. Settled in 1835 and officially incorporated in 1902, Oak Park saw a huge population boom out to the suburbs due to the Great Chicago Fire of 1871 and the construction of railroads and streetcars, making it easy for commuters to travel downtown Chicago, which is still true today. So what's so special about this street? So we're actually on Marion Street and you can tell because it's all brick paved roads and there's a bunch of cute boutique shops, restaurants, and actually in the summertime, they have this really cool event called Thursday Night Outs. This place is filled with tables, chairs, people enjoying the awesome weather, some drinks, some food, and live music. And all the kids are literally playing in this little pond. And also they have the beer fest in the fall. And we've actually been to a couple wine fests as well. And then di directly in the background, you can see the Har Harlem and Lake Green Line stop along with the Oak Park Metro stop. Delicious locally owned restaurants, artwork lined streets, tons of history. Marion Street is where it's at in downtown Oak Park. Just south of the train tracks features Poor Phil's, Victory Italian, Cajun Boil and Bar. As we go under the train tracks to the north end, it has restaurants like Leah French Cafe, Sugar Fix Pastries, cute shops like Sugar Cup Children's Store, 16 Suitcases, and Pumpkin Moon Toy Shop. And if you're looking for a bike store, go to Wheel and Sprocket. Where are we at? Okay, so when we lived in Oak Park, I absolutely loved coming to the book table. It's a locally owned bookstore, super cute, cozy. I could literally go inside for hours and just browse the books. And it's a super progressive store right in the heart of downtown Oak Park. And what would one of my videos be if I didn't talk about the beer scene here in Oak Park? There's actually three breweries, One Lake, Kins Lager, and Oak Park Brewing Company. But one of my favorite spots to grab a brewski is Beer Shop. They have craft beers from all around Chicagoland. You can come in here and grab a brew, play some games with your friends, or just grab a case, go home, and relax. National Historic Landmark, the Oak Park Conservatory. They have some exotic plants from around the world and they also do a bunch of plant sales. So if you like the garden like I do, this is a great place to come get some exotic plants, some cool, cool things for your garden and just kind of explore plants from all around the world. But let's go on inside and take a look.
One of the things I love about living in Oak Park is the Park District has some phenomenal programs for its residents of all ages. I know when my wife and I used to live here, we took the dance lessons and we considered taking karate, but we chopped that idea right away. I'm currently in Rem Park. It's just south of the Eisenhower Expressway on the southern end of Oak Park. It's absolutely beautiful. It has this enormous field, tons of playground equipment for the kiddos, which you can see running around, screaming, loving life in the background. Also has a couple of tennis courts right over here. And one of two public pool spaces in Oak Park is right here in the park, Rem Pool. It's just getting open this weekend for Memorial Day. And right next door to Rem Park is the Botanical Garden. So I'd highly recommend taking a look at that. If you're ever in town, you love nature, love plants and all that great stuff. But the second pool is at my favorite park located at Ridgeland Common built in 1962. It has since gone under plenty of renovations. When we lived right around the corner on Pleasant Street, I used to come here in the morning and train barefoot all the time on the turf fields. In the far corner of this field is a dog park. So if you have a furry friend at home, I'd highly recommend taking them over to that park because there's always dogs here at all hours of the day. And directly next to the park, is the Green Line track. The Ridgeland stop is right around the corner and that particular train is heading downtown to the Oak Park stop. But Ridgeland Common is really cool because there's a 50 meter swimming pool right over here on the other side of the arena. So I got all my triathlon training done there. You can go there in the summer with the kids and just relax by the pool. Inside the arena, there's a year round ice skating rink. So if you play hockey, like the figure skate or go family skating, that's a fantastic activity to do. And then directly across the street in the summer, there is the farmer's market right here in this parking lot. Also directly next door is OPRF, which is short for Oak Park River Forest High School. Both River Forest and Oak Park will feed into the school. It sits directly in the heart of the neighborhood, just east of downtown Oak Park. It has about 3,400 students. It's the number 36 ranked public high school in the entirety of Illinois. It's fantastic recreation facilities, sports teams, extracurriculars, and academics. All of the schools in Oak Park, other than one, are rated A on niche.com. OPRF happens to have an A plus rating. Located about nine miles west of downtown Chicago, Oak Park features 2,400 historic sites, 13 parks covering 80 acres, including Ridgeland Common, pictured here. It's bike friendly with quick access to the Grand Illinois Trail, Illinois Prairie Path, and the 606. I'm actually walking down Harrison Street in the heart of the Arts District. This whole area has a bunch of art galleries, craft stores, and just locally owned shops, including a ton of restaurants, bakeries, and the cafes. So I definitely recommend checking this area out when you come to Oak Park. Uh, they just built these row houses maybe two or three years ago because I remember watching them build them from the ground up. Um, one of my favorite spots to go here is the pie shop just on the corner down here. Taco Mucho is a family owned restaurant that serves some of the best tacos in the area. Mora Asia Kitchen has some fine Asian cuisine that I absolutely love. And Buzz Cafe is right around the corner. Another beautiful morning here in Oak Park. We're here in this gorgeous courtyard of this condominium building. This is a stereotypical building that you'll see throughout Chicagoland and especially in Oak Park with this courtyard surrounded on both sides by the actual condominium building. There's plenty of options for attached housing at all price points throughout Oak Park. So if you're looking for something where you don't have to maintain at a lower price point, there's plenty of options for you. So something we loved when we lived here was the great sense of community. It's not uncommon to find streets blocked off with barricades and having the neighbors kicking back in the middle of the street with some brewskis, a grill, kids running around, renting a bounce house, and just having a good old fashioned block party. Okay, while well we're walking, what was one of your favorite things about living in Oak Park? Oh man, I love the parks and the proximity to downtown Chicago. 
I mean, it's impossible to drive down there because 290 gets bottlenecked because it goes from four lanes down to three. However, Oak Park has a variety of different trains between the blue, the green line, and then the Metro stop. So depending on where you want to get into the city, you just hop on a train, be downtown within 20 minutes, and don't have to worry about finding a parking spot in downtown Chicago. When you look on a map, Oak Park is incredibly small, however, it is packed with history. I'm actually walking through one of three historic districts located right here in Oak Park, the Ridgeland Historic District. We're only a couple blocks south of the Green Line, OPRF High School, and Ridgeland Common, which I touched on earlier in this video. You can see all the historic homes behind me. And actually, this is Pleasant Street, where my wife and I used to live when we lived here in Oak Park. The average price point for a single family house here in Oak Park is roughly 525,000. And I expect that to go up in the following years. Because of the age of the homes here in Oak Park, the vast majority will back up to an alleyway like the one directly behind me and have a detached car garage. And quite a few homes throughout Oak Park have utilized their space fantastically. So they have an extra apartment above the garage. They can use it for an office space, an Airbnb, or just an extra space to clear your mind away from your spouse. Tell us what you love about Oak Park. Tell us what you dislike. All right, something I really dislike about Oak Park is it kind of sits on its own island. It's isolated because some of the surrounding neighborhoods and towns aren't as nice as Oak Park, River Forest, and Forest Park are. In addition to that, there's not as many big brand name stores as I'd like there to be. So you either have to go downtown Chicago or out west to Oak Brook. To counter that though, the vast majority of stores in this area, along with restaurants, are family owned boutique restaurants, which is fantastic for the community. All right, after several days of filming and hot and sweaty weather, I'm wrapping up my Oak Park vlog and I would typically wrap it up with an ice cold beer. However, it's 10.30 a.m. and I figured an omelet would be much more appropriate. If you ever have any plans of moving anywhere in the Oak Park area, I'm always available by phone, text, email and would love for the opportunity to connect with you in any way possible but until next time i'll catch you guys later do it every time hey and if you're looking for a fresh selection of meats go to carnival carnival let's keep going